Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader uh nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope everybody had a great trading day. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll kind of start with the pivots first and then we'll kind of uh, work our way up today. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, uh, again, I, I can't thank you guys enough uh, for supporting the channel, for taking, you know, 10, 15 minutes of your day to kind of tuning in uh, listening to, uh, you know, what I have to say in, in, a pr in pretty much a very ob unobjective, uh, you know, kind of way of looking at the tape. And I try to do it in the most unbiased way uh, possible based on price action, not uh, my opinion. Um, if you look at the pivots first, and again, it's, it's, it's very, very tough for me to kind of start thinking and start using uh, more superlatives to kind of describe what the market is. We know what the market is. We know what the market's been doing. It's the same thing literally every single day. Higher highs, higher lows. So we'll start with the pivots first, right? We'll start with the pivots first, and then I want to tell you guys like a little a little story. All right. So we talked about pretty much. Uh, we talked about pretty much uh, everything uh, under the sun uh, over the weekend update. Uh, we talked about NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA went out of its mind today, uh, absolutely out of its mind. Uh, not only uh, was were they coming for, you know, 490s, 495s, and 500 calls, uh, they were coming for the weekly uh, 505s, 510s, 520s, and 530s. We even saw some uh, January 550 calls coming out of the stock, right? And if you look at the chart, this is very, very close of taking down uh, the November highs. If this thing starts taking down the November highs tomorrow, this NVIDIA is going to absolutely explode. Uh, if you look at the pivot today, 494 needs to build. There's also a little bit of five minutes supply at 495. So obviously a second entry for all you guys who trade pivots, you kind of know what a second entry is. And NVIDIA went nuts. It traded up to about 500. It sat there, literally you sat there for about two hours, never came in repeat option flow after option flow after option flow. Once it took out 500, it went to a 504 and change. It's an absolutely huge move. Tomorrow, we, we, you know, this is it. I mean, basically this is, you know, this is yearly highs on NVIDIA on deck. Uh, and if NVIDIA can uh, reclaim the November highs, I think NVIDIA can shoot up. Again, there's so much option flow in the name uh, with short-term expiration. Let's see if they could push this thing uh, across the finish line. But Unbelievable move today. Really, really uh, unbelievable move today on uh, NVIDIA. Tesla, right? Uh, Tesla, I've been long for three days uh, off that uh, 240, uh, 247 breakout. Uh, stock, you know, like I said in the weekend update, if I could get 257, 258, I get down to a runner. Uh, I, my, my highest sale was in that 258, so traded almost 259, and it pretty much got tired. You know, Tesla pretty much got tired. But look, 18 point move in three days. It deserves a little rest. So what I look, what I think is going to happen on Tesla, I, I think probably it rests for the next day or so. And as long as this keeps on uh, sitting above the five-day moving average and gra grabbing higher, I, I think there's going to be another wave of buying uh, into uh, into the end of the year. But again, great move. You know, here is the breakout right here. It, it got above this uh, 246.60s, confirmed the 52.75 and trade it into supply, basically trade it into the 60 minute supply into the 40, 58s. Congratulations for all you guys uh, who, who took the trade for three days. Uh, and, you know, for all you guys who are still holding a runner, phenomenal. It's an absolutely phenomenal move. Uh, we talked about Amazon, right? We talked about Amazon in last night's video as well. Uh, 150, 60 needs to build. There's initial supply of 151, 13. So make sure, you know, notice, so basically need to get above uh, the 151.13 supply. Again, we talked about Amazon last night. Amazon just went nuts, went absolutely nuts, uh, trading almost to 155. Huge, just absolutely huge move. Uh, Meta was huge as well. You know, Meta we talked about also on the video, uh, 338.66 uh, needs to build. Uh, Meta went all the way up into uh, the 47s today. Our highest sales today was in the 46s, but phenomenal move. And, you know, honestly, if this thing starts building above today's channel through the Bollinger Band, this thing has more uh, room to go. 
And I believe that was it, right? I believe that was it. But other things went nuts. I mean, everything went nuts. You got Netflix just going absolutely berserk. Uh, you know, Apple rested. Uh, Microsoft is waking up. I actually like Microsoft, not necessarily for tomorrow, but I'd, I'd like it eventually if it can get above this supply zone here. But, but the key point, what we talked about over the weekend update, and I want to make sure uh, everybody's in the right frame of mind. All right, guys, so we talked about this 40871, right? Remember what we talked about on the weekend update? They said, hey, if you're looking for a potential blow-off scenario, potentially, we don't know if it's, it's going to stay there, but if you're looking for a potential 40871 area, that's going to be the spot. Look, at guys, look how close, look how close the, the NASDAQ is, the QQQs, of getting into all-time highs, right? Today's high was 408, right? Today's high was 408, and if you look at the monthly view, we are literally, we are literally, you know, a dollar, dollar fifty away from all-time highs. So, you know, tomorrow's D-Day, right? Tomorrow's D-Day. Uh, you know, who knows if the market's gonna get rejected there? I'm, I'm just, I just know the level, right? I, I, I know damn well I'm not gonna go long uh, as they're attempting to take out, uh, take out uh, all-time highs. But you know, I, there's definitely an area there that if the market stalls out uh, on the November highs, in November 2021 highs, then yeah, yeah, you definitely could take a, a short position, like I said on the weekend video, uh, against uh, the high of the day. So it's very, very important to understand. The most important thing, guys, and 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 I want I want to really reiterate this point, especially for newer traders. In 2000, right? In 2000, I started at the end of 98, 99, right? This is when the start with the internet craze was. None of us knew what we were doing. Absolutely none of us, okay? All our strategy was we we're taking basically the top five, 10 stocks overnight that closed up 20, 30%. And probably what would happen the next day is majority of them would gap up another 15, 20%. If, if, if you watched, again, I've, I've referenced this before for all you guys who are brand new to the channel, if you go on YouTube and you and you do uh, a search, Meyer Offman, right? Meyer Offman uh, interview, you'll see the interview with myself and Meyer Offman. It's only about 20 minutes, but he basically g gave you a, a really good synopsis of what the internet craze was. It wasn't one stock that was going up. It was 10, 15 stocks a, a day going up 20, 30%. And after a year and a half, after this magnificent run that all of us had, you know, we thought, you know, this was never going to end. And the point was we, we were going to be retired in two years. That's literally what I was thinking. Lo and behold, I was very, very wrong. And the next time I saw a penny was literally from 2001. I didn't make a penny to about 2000, the middle of 2003. So next time I really started seeing some money flow was kind of the middle of 2003, 2004. And the moral of the story is, you don't think this magic carpet ride is going to end. You don't, especially when you are uh, exposed the first time around of making money. You're catching your first wave and you're saying to yourself, wow, this is the greatest thing ever. Every day, this, the market's going up and it did. Even look today, Nasdaq was up another 90 points today. But the point is, guys, trust me when I tell you, it's going to end exactly the same way. We just don't know when it's going to end. That's why I keep on reiterating the point uh, to every single viewer, everybody in, in the webinar is trade like it's your last day of euphoria, right? Always understand that that rug pull could come at any point. That's the way you end your, your, you end your wave, right? You finish riding your wave at the highest point possible. Because if you're sitting there in La La Land and you're saying, well, no, you know, the video, you know, the video just rallied, you know, the video just rallied, let's just say from 450 so let's just say 510, 520. I'm kind of putting it out there in the universe so they know that, right? No way. The stock's going to 600. And you realize the stock just rallied like 150 points in like a month. Guys, it does end. Trust me. And every single time I thought it didn't end, I gave back. My drawdowns were ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous in two, three days. Okay. So it took two, three months to accomplish something and then two, three days to give it all back. So guys, always understand, play a devil's advocate every single day. The stocks that are really extended, leave them alone, right? Again, we talk about all the time, don't jump off the 12th floor. If you're going to jump, jump off the first floor. At least you'll have a skinny, you'll have, you'll have a skinny knee, a skin knee, you'll have a little couple of bruises. To Advil, Tylenol, you're good to go, right? Some ice, you're going to be good to go. If you're buying, for example, if you're if your first entry, right, you didn't trade NVIDIA, uh, anywhere in the last 150 points in your first entries tomorrow at all-time highs, 
you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. I'm not saying it's not going to work because I'm hoping it's going to work. But my point is you have a higher probability always for failure the further a stock is from its natural range. And if you look at its natural range, the natural range started at 453, right? This was 453 when it reclaimed the 50-day moving average and gave us a ton of entries all over the place. But boy, oh boy, if this is your first entry tomorrow, you're doing it wrong. And I tell you, they're coming for the 410s, the 510s, the 520s, the 530s, the 550s for next week. It, the FOMO is everywhere. You could feel it through the screen. You could feel it through people on social media. But I'm telling you, you have to be an adult, okay? You have to be an adult. You have to understand the gravy train is eventually going to run out. And the point is you have to be prepared. And that's why we always say, guys, again, ride the wave. You know, we keep on riding the wave. We keep on doing exactly the same thing every single day. Uh, buy dips on strong names into rising 60-minute support. But if those ranges don't hold, get out of Dodge. And that's the most important part. And that's how you avoid a multi-day drawdown uh, versus a euphoric ride that you one day you think it's never going to end. But I'm telling you, and it's ended for me very, very aggressively numerous times. It ended to me very, very aggressively in 2001. It ended very, very aggressively in 2011, right? To, if you guys remember, 2009 was a generational bottom. And around 2011, we started, we started getting really, really heavy in the dynamics of the market, changed a little bit, but two, uh, 2010, 2011, but uh, it, it, it happens all the time. And I, I just don't want anybody to turn around and be like, I did great for two, three, four, five months and I gave it back in two days. And that's what happens when you're not, uh, when you're not trading uh, from, a pro, from a proactive point of view as an adult and you're trading from the point of a FOMO uh, you know, a FOMO, uh, you know, moon, what are they called? Uh, you know, to the moon, diamond hands to the moon. They always are the ones to get out last. I've been saying this for years. You want to make sales when you want to and not when you have to. So going into tomorrow, uh, going into tomorrow, you know, I'm definitely going to watch Microsoft. Uh, I'm definitely going to watch Microsoft above supply. Uh, let's keep an eye on for potential second day run on Meta. Obviously, anything into weakness. Uh, I definitely want to keep an eye on rising 60-minute support. Uh, NVIDIA, again, if NVIDIA confirms the, the all-time highs or at least the all-time regular session highs, because I know it traded to like in the 520s uh, on one of the previous earnings, man, this is the one that has the biggest biggest potential, especially with all the option flow coming in. So definitely use uh, any weakness tomorrow into rising 60-minute support uh, for a potential dip buy. But boy, oh boy, if this thing could just get above the November, uh, November highs, this thing could really start to, to stretch. And that's exactly uh, what we are uh, looking for. And again, guys, keep this in mind, uh, 40871, uh, you know, that's the number. Don't be, you know, don't be caught blindsided if you're getting long the market as it's potentially getting rejected at all time highs. Be aware of this level, even if you have no desire, okay, no desire whatsoever to trade the queues tomorrow, be aware of this level, 40870s. Uh, on the queues, that is the November 2021 highs, because if this gets rejected, I promise so is your stock. So guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Again, uh, 2023 is magical. It's coming down to an end. We have less than two weeks. And the most important thing is, hey, we made it another year around the sun, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Guys, God bless, and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Take care.